Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're gonna perform benchmark tests on an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070 Ti and compare it against an RTX 5080. This video will be a great bias guide for anyone unsure of which GPU to purchase in 2025. Will the RTX 5070 Ti be the best choice or is your money best spent elsewhere on a more powerful RTX 5080? This video will also discuss both cards in detail, such as their architecture, specs, gaming performance, creative workloads, cooling, and pricing. But ultimately, I want to help a potential buyer decide which one of these graphics cards is right for them. The Gigabyte Eagle model is one of the better priced RTX 5070 Ti's available on the market right now. I never compare GPU prices from their MSRP. I actually bothered to check what they're selling for right now on PC Part Picker. Both of these cards come with 16 gigabytes of VRAM as well so it's going to be interesting to see how much more performance an extra 570 bucks gets you from Team Green. Price isn't always the deciding factor for a lucky few but Nvidia's RTX 5080 comes in at a much higher price point reflecting its superior performance and future proofing. The RTX 5070 Ti while slightly less powerful offers better performance for its price. When considering price to performance, the 5080 Ti is a strong contender if you mainly play at 1440p resolution with a bit of 4K gaming on the side, dare I say. The RTX 5080 shines if you want to game at 4K ultra settings and retain a high FPS, or you need every ounce of performance for creative tasks and AI workloads. Both the RTX 5080 and RTX 5070 Ti are built on Nvidia's Blackwell architecture bringing support for DLSS4, advanced ray tracing and AI accelerated workloads. However they differ significantly in raw performance and I will have some ray tracing benchmarks a little later on in the video. The RTX 5080 has stacks more CUDA cores compared to its little brother, nearly 20%, that's a big difference, most noticeable in GPU heavy tasks like rendering or real time ray tracing. Clock speeds also differ, this MSI RTX 5080 Vanguard has a base boost clock of 2745 MHz. In comparison this Gigabyte RTX 5070 Ti Eagle has a reference 2452 MHz clock speed, but I have no doubt it will boost a lot higher than that when I get to testing. Both cards come with 16GB of GDDR7 memory on a 256-bit bus. The RTX 5080 edges out in memory speed, giving a higher memory bandwidth for demanding titles. Power-wise, the RTX 5080 needs ideally a 850W PSU, while the 5070 Ti is a bit more forgiving and only requires 750 watts. Right, let's talk gaming performance. In modern AAA titles, an RTX 5080 consistently outperforms an RTX 5070 Ti, particularly at higher resolutions such as 1440p and 4K. For example, in Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K with max ray tracing and DLSS4, the RTX 5080 averages at around 140 FPS, while the 5070 Ti sits closer to around 110 FPS. At 1080p, both cards are overkill delivering well over 200 FPS in most games, but the RTX 5080 gives you that extra headroom and if you're planning on future proofing your PC for up and coming more demanding titles, the 5080 can be a great choice. If you're a content creator, these GPUs will shine in tasks like video editing, 3D rendering and AI workloads. The RTX 5080's extra cores and higher memory bandwidth translate into faster rendering times in applications like Blender, Premiere Pro and DaVinci. Resolve. For instance, rendering at 4K, a 10 minute video takes around 30% less time in Premiere Pro with an RTX 5080, AI driven tools like Nvidia's Canvas and Photoshop's AI filters also run smoother on a 5080 thanks to its additional tensor cores. But both cards complete their tasks with ease, it's hard to notice one being slower than the other without actually testing their individual performance. Both cards have solid cooling solutions but there are some differences, the MSI RTX 5080 uses is a hyperfroser thermal design with a triple stormforce fan setup to keep temps low even under prolonged heavy loads. The Gigabyte RTX 5070 Ti uses the Windforce cooling system and Hawks fans which are whisper quiet, obviously I can't compare the cooling potential of both of these cards since they are completely different GPU variants, but it's good to explain the different options you get from each manufacturer. Physical size is another consideration, the RTX 5080 is about twice as big so make sure your case has enough space. The RTX 5070 Ti is way more compact and easier to fit in smaller ATX builds. 
The RTX 5080 allows you to game at max settings while streaming at 1080p or even 1440p without any frame drops whatsoever. The 5070 Ti can handle this too, but you might need to lower in-game settings slightly for more demanding titles. As for overclocking the 5070 Ti, I managed to add an extra 330 MHz to the core clock, which actually resulted in a total core clock of 3100 MHz. I also added an extra 2K to the memory, translating to 250 MHz increase to the memory clock speed. With the stock BIOS, I had a really similar overclocking result by just undervolting this card, which resulted in lower temps. I would highly recommend using this method. For temperatures, the RTX 5070 Ti capped out at 64 degrees Celsius and MSI's RTX 5080 69 degrees Celsius. Here's a noise test of them both at idle and under full load. Now finally we can get onto the benchmarks to see how they stack up against each other. I'm going to add all of the other cards that I've tested since being back on YouTube into my graphs, finally bringing them all together. I also have an Aorus RTX 5080 Master that I have retested to give Gigabyte and MSI a fair head-to-head -head battle. Let's go! Right everyone, the RTX 5080 is ideal for enthusiasts seeking top tier performance in gaming and creative applications. Its higher core count and faster memory make it a powerhouse for demanding tasks, but its price is a hefty jump over the 5070 Ti, especially since they both have the same amount of VRAM. This Gigabyte RTX 5070 Ti Eagle is a solid choice for gamers and creators who want excellent performance without spending top dollar, best suited for 1440p resolution as we've seen in the benchmarks. But it isn't a slouch at 4K, and if you plan on gaming at 4K or above 144Hz, I would highly recommend spending the extra on an RTX 5080, or even better, wait for the super lineup coming soon, Nvidia's best kept secret. Ultimately, your choice comes down to budget, resolution, and the refresh rate of your monitor. Both cards are excellent, but the RTX 5080 is a more future-proof option, while the 5070 Ti offers strong performance at a more appropriate price. So which GPU do you believe offers the best value? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more in-depth tech reviews and comparisons. Until next time, my name's Mark from Silence Tech. Catch you in the next one.